Switching gears now, young people diagnosed with cancer, it's really happening at an alarming pace, and that's according to a sweeping new study. And that same study also says many cases are preventable. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now to tell you why. Lots to unpack here, yeah. guys. You know, first of all, it is about choices people make when they are unhealthy. That increases the cancer risk. And while it's still more likely to happen to older people, this new research says more young people are now being diagnosed with cancer. It's a global trend. A growing number of young people are being diagnosed with cancer, according to the largest study of its kind. It says early onset cancer increased 79 percent from 1.8 million cases in 1990 to just over 3 million in 2019. It is a significant rise. Dr. Michael DeBrow is the medical director of the Paoli Cancer Center. I think it's important to recognize that even though you're young and healthy, one could still have a risk for developing these cancers. The new research says worldwide, more than a million people under 50 are now dying of cancer every year. Anyone with lungs can get lung cancer. Lee Phillips, the mom of three, is a runner who never smoked. She was just 43 when she was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. When they came back after the bone biopsy and said you have lung cancer, you could have knocked us over with a feather. Her cancer was linked to radon exposure, but most lung cancer is usually caused by smoking. Something very controllable. We've known for a long time that it causes a whole litany of cancers. Dr. DeBrow says in addition to smoking, cancer is also linked to eating high-fat processed foods and heavy drinking. How does alcohol increase the risk for cancer? We know that it can impair liver function. Doctors say eliminating unhealthy activities and becoming more active can help prevent cancer. Making these changes, while very difficult to do, really would be a major improvement. I mean, probably, you know, 40, 50 percent reduction. I think that would be a massive reduction in, in cancer risk really across the board. And doctors say the best way to prevent cancer is with screenings like mammograms and colonoscopies. They're not recommended for young people, so doctors say that's why it is so important to pay attention to your body. And if something doesn't feel or look right, see your doctor. Be proactive. Be proactive. Indeed. All right, it. Steph, thanks so much. Appreciate it.